You haven't known true frustration until you've tried to do a, a hairstyle for a YouTube video. Why I don't do hair tutorials. Uh... I'm starting off with just my hair down and I've already sectioned off the top bit. This is hair that was washed a few days ago, maybe like three, and you can do this hairstyle on straight or curly hair either way, but I prefer to have the top section that I'm going to be creating the bumper bangs to be curled. And you can see the shape is a sort of semicircle reaching back from about where the arch of my eyebrows is, and I just create this with a um, fine toothed comb. I go again from about the arch of my eyebrow and I draw a circle all the way around and section it off like that. I find that it helps to have some styling product in so I'm taking my Lay Right Super Shine Cream, just a very small amount because it's only a little bit of hair, and I am running it through the section. Because I still have my tiny little fringe that I'm growing out, it also helps me to back comb a little bit. And this also creates a sort of nice base for the roll to sit on. Then I am taking my Lauren Reynolds Roll and Go Sculpture Tool and wrapping the ends around it and rolling downwards towards the scalp. Tucking my thumb in and carefully removing the tool, we're going to pin in place by putting um, two long bobby pins on either side to trap the roll down to the head. Then to create more of that bumper bang shape, I'm going to tuck in the ends. So two pins just behind where the roll is. And then I'm pushing the roll down to hide that bit of kind of scalp and sliding a bobby pin along the side. And there we have it. It's really, really easy and simple to do, and you can play around with how much hair you use and the position of it. To hide that top, now to accessorize, I'm putting a pearl headband from New Look and then taking these two pearl comb slides and sliding them in to either side of the bumper bang. This is also a style that looks really good with symmetry, so again, I'm taking two ornaments, in this case my two red flower clips, and sliding them in either side of the roll. The train came roaring round a curve, peanut butter, a bald-headed man in a restaurant said, waiter, my cocoa's cool. The waiter said if you're cocoa... Another really great way to wear this is to create two victory rolls. I'm just creating these with the same tool very quickly by taking a large amount of hair, rolling it up and pinning to the side of my head. And this kind of provides you with that heart-shaped 1940s hairstyle look. These aren't the best victory rolls I've ever created, so do forgive me for how um, quick and kind of simple they are, but the basic premise is still very much the same and I think it looks really pretty. And then again, we are taking to accessorize those two flower clips and popping those into the empty space so you can't see it. And there we go. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on not the best bumper bangs I've ever done, but I feel like it's a good basic premise of how to do how I prefer to do my bumper bangs. I did get one of those little donut-y things, let me go and grab it. Yeah, I did get one of these and I did try and do it that way, but I just can't get the hang of it. 
and I prefer messing around with an actual little roll on your head. Um, you can play around with the size, you can play around with how much hair you have. Um, I imagine it will be a lot easier once my tiny annoying fringe has grown out and I'm just working with hair that's all the same length. But for now, this is what I've come up with and I hope you like my examples of how you can style it, including this really quick and easy victory roll style. Um, so do let me know what you think in the comments and whether you would wear this bumper bangs look. Um, don't forget that you can follow me on all of my social media. You can follow me on Instagram at a very vintage darling and Twitter at V Vintage Darling um, to stay updated with me. And of course, subscribe if you enjoy my channel and join our lovely little vintage darling family. I love you all so very much, and I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Au revoir. Help me. Why is it that when I'm doing things in the morning, in like, you know, two minutes flat for work, I can do this fine. And then the second I get in front of a camera and I want to show how I do it in two minutes in the morning, it just doesn't happen. Which I just did in like two seconds and is somehow better. Not mad. Not mad. It's this side. It's this. It's this side. Does anyone have a scientific explanation for why I can't do that side? Because that would be great. This has gone fine. Every other time I've tried to do it, and now it's suddenly like, <clears throat> nope.